Hi Aries, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your general monthly tarot reading for the month of July 2021, thank you so much for joining me and I do want to take this moment of course to remind you to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't done so already. But when meditating on your Aries energy overall for the month, the message that came through was allowing yourself to shine, allowing yourself to shine. And uh, we're going to start by shuffling. We're going to pull six tarot cards for the month. And uh, yeah, so for our lovely Aries for the month of July 2021, thank you, Spirit. You might feel inclined to speak your mind at certain points that throughout the month and Spirit saying, hold back. It's not even a matter of questioning or trusting your intuition about whether or not to speak your beautiful Aries mind. It, there's, you just know right off the bat or being told at this point that you'll share too much, okay? Uh, we have two so far for a lovely Aries to continue for July 2021. Interesting, we have them all. Okay. So we're beginning with the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing patience as you ground yourself, um, needing to be one with a, a calm, grounded feeling throughout the month of July. Uh, when I was trying to record your reading the first time, I felt very impatient, very uh, energetic, uh, very rushed, a push to accomplish all you want to in the month, but uh, needing to ground yourself and slow things down mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of the above in order to see the results you desire. Remembering that at times, just because you do have an immense amount of motivation and energy come over you, doesn't mean you will achieve your results uh, more so if you rush towards them. Uh, remembering that at times you shine on a, a more efficient level when you're calm and grounded. We are moving, um, or rather we're starting the spread in the month with the Nine of Cups once again. I'm hearing accept that you're almost there. You begin the month feeling extremely passionate, motivated to do what you need to, but for whatever reason, getting a little bit impatient uh, with the progression of where things are heading. I'm also hearing cheers. For whatever reason, it might be towards the end of this part of the month, you find yourself celebrating with at least one other person, certain small successes, and Spirit saying, if you need to be pushed to do so, we'll help you do that. But um, it's important at this time that you celebrate certain small successes um, along the way towards the completion of certain goals. Remembering that you once again are a, a leader in the making and it's important that you show those around you that you can celebrate where you're at even if it's not the end goal or the, the finish line that you desire to be at, at this point. And I am seeing, as I said, a finish line. I saw somebody running through um, a finish line as if it was a race, you know, and breaking the the ribbon, if you will. Now I'm hearing stating the obvious. It, it might feel like you... It's one of those points in the month where you want to express how you feel about a certain subject or about how people are dealing with certain things around you. But being pushed by Spirit and the Universe to uh, pull back, to withhold, as well as um, it just feels like a lot of people around you are stating the obvious and you're like, okay, well, that's frustrating. And now that you're being told not to express how you feel, it could leave you feeling a little bit bottled up or ready to explode at points, but... Uh, needing to breathe and meditate, ground yourself once again, and take on this King of Cups way of being. Knowing that you have a lot ahead of you, a lot on the line, and uh, to blow up or to 
allow certain people or situations around you to get the best of you, it's not worth it, right? To remember what's at stake in order to, once again, motivate yourself uh, to take a step back and just let it be. We're moving on to the Seven of Cups. I'm hearing options can overwhelm uh, at this point in the month being push to make certain decisions uh, about your future but for whatever reason it can potentially overwhelm you I, it, it there's a feeling that you want to make the right decision so badly that you put an immense amount of pressure on your own shoulders to make the right decision or to simply it's just um, a lot of weight put into these options uh, unnecessarily in spirit saying usually we can put a lot of that um, blame, if you will, is how you're viewing it on other people around you or situations. But in this case, it's you. And being honest with yourself and swallowing that blame and being like, it's okay. You know, I don't mean to at times, but I allow for myself to stress over my future. You don't make it as apparent to those around you as uh, a lot of the other signs do, but you need to loosen your grip and release the pressure that you're putting on your own shoulders at this time and understand that you're still blossoming and growing as an individual as you make your way towards uh, your own version of leadership. As an Aries, you question yourself at times, once again, even if people don't understand or notice you in that manner. But it's not, when you're making these decisions, when you're deciding what's best for you moving forward, it's not a time to question yourself. Remember all that you are and who you're becoming and just be confident in the decisions you make and understand that some of which might be tempting, but you know what's right for you at the end of the day. Look within, uh, trust your, the knowledge you've gained over time, as well as your beautiful, glowing and blossoming intuition. You got this, Aries. And we're moving on to the Knight of Pentacles. As you make your way to wrap up the first half of the month, You take off in a different manner. You decide to charge after some of the options you've, or maybe one of the options you've uh, decided to go with at this point in the month. But you do it in a pace and a manner that you're not used to. And it can feel a little bit uneasy, a little bit un uh, uncomfortable for you at first, but knowing that the pace of things is meant to be, it's destined. And what you're doing at this point, beautiful, is being one with the, the natural pace of things. And you're not trying to rush things or push them quicker than they need to be uh, in comparison to how you were feeling in the beginning of the month. You have no idea how proud your spirit guides are uh, behind the scenes or surrounding you at this time as you uh, continue to or start continue or start to make certain improvements towards a better version of yourself. And I'm being drawn back now. There's a reason why I picked up the Nine of Cups again. There's a rat up here. There's somebody around you at the beginning of the month or within the first half in general who isn't who they appear or doesn't have your back. Please be aware of it, okay? And the Spirit's now saying that is, that's a huge reason why you're being pushed or guided to hold back your opinions or how you truly feel or maybe with sharing certain updates because not everybody is who they appear at this point and as the month trickles on you'll get a better grasp on who's who and who can be trusted but for now keep certain things to yourself okay and now i'm being drawn interestingly enough to the animal in uh, the opposite corner of this imagery what looks like a squirrel and spirits saying you will notice squirrels often throughout this part of the month or certain other small animals as uh, a way of communicating with you, spirit in the universe. And if you think about a squirrel, they're a true reminder to have fun, to be one with the process along the way, to enjoy yourself more. And it's a reminder that you need at times as you feel a bit aggravated, frustrated, or simply just goal oriented. Um, we'll leave it at that. And we're making our way to the emperor. But before we move on, I'm seeing this sort of helmet 
over the guy's face or the woman's face on the horse, uh, the knight, if you will. And what's coming through with that is you're feeling a bit guarded at this point in the month as you do try to switch up your energy and level of uh, motivation, or not motivation, but your approach towards what you desire. And spirit saying it's understandable, especially when we're just talking about uh, certain people and um, having to withhold updates and opinions. But don't let that affect you as you go towards what you deserve, okay? Moving on to the Emperor once again. I'm hearing your serious way of being as contagious as you begin this second half. You can't help but feel ultra serious and um, a bit uptight. Wanting to see certain results at this point, but not uh, just not feeling too content or... Uh, I'm feeling so disappointed in myself right now in your energy. And for whatever reason, I feel like it's so misplaced. You, it might have been initiated by other people around you or situations. And it's like, give yourself more credit areas. You've been through a lot, a lot of ups and downs and lefts and rights. And uh, people who have potentially even taken advantage of you at times. And you know what? You deserve more credit. And if other people in situations don't give you that credit, give it to yourself, right? It's at this point in the month where you'll be thinking about uh, the people in your life, the energies you surround yourself with, and you need to ask yourself, am I surrounding myself with the right people, right? Uh, as things progress and develop and unravel, who, who is going to be best and most, um, who's going to be the best to, uh, for you in general? You're a powerful being and at times people might want to I want to say go as far as riding your coattails as you make your way towards your own version of success. Something to keep in mind. Being aligned with the Nine of Cups. It's at this point in the month where you'll think back to how you were sort of allowing yourself to celebrate certain small successes along the way as you made your way into the month. So what is changing now? A lot, actually. As you, we had the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you made decisions and uh, experienced certain frustrations and all of which along the way. Uh, making sure that you stop and smell the roses, uh, try to enjoy the process, even if you're feeling a bit uptight or stressed at this point. Uh, Spirit saying it's this point in the month where you're forgetting to allow yourself to shine and so being pushed to do so in small, different ways will help you immensely. We're moving on to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Make your way to the middle of the second half of the month. And I'm hearing no passion to be found. You feel very sad for whatever reason at this point in the month, Aries, and you almost want to kind of turn around and, and hide and feeling like you can't get out of the spotlight for whatever reason. And the sadness that comes over you is just, it's not who you want to be. It's not who you want to, how you want to be viewed, right? Wanting to be viewed as a strong, confident individual. And you are, but it's just one side of you. And what you're going to realize at this point in the month, if you haven't already, is that allowing for people to view and be one with your other sides is going to help you along the way. It, it makes you more realistic in, in their eyes. It makes you more human. And it helps them understand that they can feel certain feels and be uh, experience ups and downs as well. You know, you don't want to give people unrealistic expectations of how to be, given you are such an example. Uh, given the lack of motivation at this point in the month or uh, uh, passion, you just don't want to accomplish what you need to, but you still do. And you prove to other people that it doesn't, just because you experience certain ups and downs emotionally or lack of passion and motivation once again, doesn't mean you don't push forward, right? It's okay to stop and do what you have to do personally, implement self-care, but you're proving that you can be all you need to be even when things aren't ideal uh, personally. 
once again, allowing yourself to shine, but in a different way, right? Allow this to be a turning point or at least a time where you can learn something new about yourself. As I get goosebumps all over my body. Be aligned with the Seven of Cups. You're pushed and put in a spot to make more decisions about your future. And you're literally so annoyed because it's not the ideal time. You wish you could be in a more confident, upbeat, energized uh, state of mind. And Spirit saying, no, this is purposeful. You need to understand that some of these decisions need to be made when you're not feeling your best because your mindset is completely different, right? And it's going to force you to either snap out of it or to simply accept where you're at. Knowing yourself best as certain opinions flow in so forcefully and that could frustrate you or irritate you, but just allowing yourself to take a deep breath, uh, ground yourself and uh, keep your cool, all right? Moving on to the last and final card, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You make your way to wrap up the month in general. And the frustrations continue, but you continue to put in the efforts you need to. You continue to work or just uh, fulfill certain obligations. I'm hearing breathing is most advantageous. Um, so I'm just going to say, allow yourself to breathe and ground yourself once again throughout the entire month as certain people and situations try to get the best of you. It's to finish off the month where you'll find yourself very spacey or out of it, finding it hard to even think. I can barely grasp uh, the meaning of this card in the moment. Allowing yourself to remember that you're only one person and you expect a lot from yourself at times and that it'll all pan out in the end, but you need to uh, take a step back and adjust your perspective. I'm now seeing the hangman or the hangwoman in my mind's eye. As you move forward and continue to allow yourself to shine as I'm drawn back to the overall message, uh, allow yourself to be one with the process once again, to stop and smell the roses, even though these technically aren't roses, okay? Being aligned with the Knight of Pentacles, is to finish off the month where you can see we have two pentacle cards here um, reminding you or taking a focus on your finances or the pace of things. Simply asking yourself important questions to uh, learn more about yourself and where you're heading and if need be to adjust your direction to uh, get back on or to head on the right path. A better understanding of yourself and those around you at this point in the month you can do Alter things if need be. I'm hearing stay present. It's going to be hard for you not to drift to the past or drift to the future in a forceful manner. And it's going to benefit you to bring yourself right back when you find yourself doing that. And to remember that the present moment may not be totally comfortable at this point, uh, giving you just or exiting a very emotional uh, or frustrating part of the month. But it's going to benefit you more than visiting either of which. All right. So allow yourself to finish off the month in a somewhat passionate um, but more content way as you continue to allow yourself to shine. All right, Aries. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Uh, don't forget to, as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.